What's going on everybody? Spunky991 coming to you guys for another video. So the whole is he uh, holding out or is he not holding out with Michael Jenkins, the whole the saga just continues. And the speculation about, you know, the speculation just continues. Uh, he sent out a tweet talking about one of his play, one of his favorite plays from 2018, which has a lot of people talking. A lot of people are taking it as a cryptic message to the Eagles regarding his value and, um, you know, what you know what he does on the field, man. Um, and I, I, I'm going to let you guys decide if, he, if this is a cryptic message or not. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read what he said and I'm and let you guys draw your own conclusion as to whether you think that this is a cryptic message that he's sending to the uh, Eagles uh, front office about his value. So here we go. Here uh, he was talking about a play last year where he was supposed to blitz. Then he realized that no one was covering the third receiver. Uh, he went on to say uh, that when mistake when mistakes are made, you go you uh, you gotta survive the down. There, um, there, um, th those are the things that he takes pride in, and he makes it look easy. So, that's up for you guys to, to uh, draw your conclusion as to uh, whether or not he um, he was sending a message. I'll read again. This is what he said again. Uh, he, you no, know, he was talking about a play last year where he was supposed to blitz. Then he realized that no one um, is covering the third receiver. Um, when mistakes are made, you you got to survive the, th the uh, you got to survive the down. These are the things uh, that he takes pride in, and he makes it look easy. So, could that be a message that he sent to the Eagles, just the, val the value that he brings to the team? And we, we no, we all know the value that um, Michael Jenkins brings to the team. The guy, not only is a great safety, but he can also play linebacker when need be. And that's something that you know, very few safeties can play. And... I, I I told you guys, man. He he definitely is underpaid. You know, you look at his salary compared to a lot of safeties in the league. Safeties who I think he's better than call 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 um Landon Collins, who just got a monster deal with the Washington Redskins. Yeah, he definitely is um underpaid. You know, he, um he you know he he should be paid at least top safety money. You know, top top five safety money. The guy is definitely one of the best safeties in the league. Uh, he's definitely the best safety in the NFC East. He, he's he's worth more money than what Landon Collins is making. I think I think everybody would agree with that. You know what the guy does for our team is 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 very you know is is it, there's not enough to say what he does for our team. Man. It's not is you know what what he does for our team. The leadership he brings to our team. He is definitely the leader of our secondary. You could say that he is the leader of our defense in general, man. And without this guy on the field, um, our defense looks looks a whole lot different. You no, know, he's he, he's a great he's he's great in coverage, he's he, he's a great hitter man, and he, he's just an all around leader, and I think he's the best safety that we definitely had since um Brian Dawkins, and I think he will go down um in my opinion as the second best safety in the Eagles history after Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins is still that guy that's still the best safety in Eagles history and one of the best safeties of all time. But I think uh, Malcolm Jenkins is definitely the best safety we've had since then. He was the best. He was one of the best free agent signings that the Eagles have ever had, and that's a guy that you definitely need to um, take care of. So if this is all about money, um, then Roseman, pick up that damn phone, call his agent, and let's get something worked out. Um, this team has so much potential in 2019. I I told you guys this, and I tell you guys this again. I think this team could potentially be better than the 2017 Eagles. That's how much I believe in this roster. I believe in what we have here. And I believe we got something special, just like we had something really special back in 2017. But we need our leader, Michael Jenkins, out there. Like I said, I read that to you guys. I'm going to let you guys draw your conclusions. Do you think that was a cryptic message to the Eagles regarding what he brings to the table, his value, you know, and stuff? Because it definitely is very unusual for Michael Jenkins to be missing off-season programs. I know it's um it's voluntary, but Michael Jenkins being the leader that he is, the guy that he is, man, those are things that he normally does. That he he's never missed in Philadelphia for sure. Those are things he doesn't miss, and um he he's definitely underpaid. He, he's gonna make like eight million dollars next year, then at even less money the following year. So I so if he is definitely holding out for money. Then I completely understand why, because what he brings to the table, the value 
the um the, the leadership that he brings, man, I can understand why he would be um you know, upset about what he's being paid. Because like I say, he definitely deserves top safety money. He definitely deserves to be at least the I would say top three safety money. You know, he he deserves to be paid around there. You know, he's he's a, he's a future Hall of Famer. Um, I think that's unquestionably future Eagles Hall of Famer, uh, future Pro Football Hall of Famer. The guy, the guy is just a great all-around player. So I, I'm team Michael Jenkins on this one, man. Usually, I usually when it comes to players bitching and whining about money, usually I I don't really you know say a whole lot about that, you know. But but this situation right here, I think Michael Jenkins is definitely worthy of a of a pay increase. Now you're not gonna give him a big pay. You're not gonna give him like a a humongous contract worth what, like like five six years because let's let's keep it real. He's about to turn, he's about to turn 32 later on this year. But you do maybe 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 a two three year extension and a significant pay raise. I'll say about 10 to 11 million dollars a year. You no know, something like that. Keep this guy happy, Roseman. Call you know pick up that phone, pick up that phone, call his agent. And work something out. If this is all about money, work something out. He has earned. He has earned a pay increase. I think he has. He's earned a bonus. He's definitely on. He's earned that, man. And he brings so much to the table for our team. Like I said, man, his leadership. He is the leader of our defense, especially that secondary. And you need that. You need that type of guy um, in two thousand in in, in, in uh, two thousand nineteen, leading these young guys in that field. So, I don't know. I don't know if this is about money. Um, Malcolm Jenkins himself has, has not came out and said anything. He's been relatively quiet, but this could be him dropping a hint that hey, I bring a lot to the table. You guys, um, you guys were signing out with my agent that um, that that is that that, fair, that that fairly compensates me because I do I would agree if this is the case that he definitely is underpaid for what he does you know what he does for our team. I would agree if that if this is the case that. He deserves to be paid more money. I told you guys that in that previous video, and I stand by that. Like Deion Sanders would say, pay the man. Pay the man. Absolutely pay the man. So, yeah, you guys in the comment section, let me know. Do you think that was a cryptic message? Uh, if not, tell me why you don't think it was. I'm, I'm tending to believe it definitely was a message to, for him. You no, know, I think it was a message that he was sending to the Eagles front, you know, Eagles front office, Howard, Howard Roseman, about... Hey man, I do this for this team. I I correct a lot of mistakes that I made at times, and I deserve to be paid more. I truly do believe that that's what this was. But like I said, Jenkins has not um he has not came out and actually said anything. Um, I read I just read it to you guys and let you draw your conclusions. But you guys tell me in the comment section. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and like I said, just tell me what you guys think in the comment section. As always, go birds. Spunky Nice Nine One is out of here. Fly, go fly. Peace.